Now, seriously, a member of parliament, John Waluke, and his co-accused in a maize importation corruption case, Grace Wakungu, have suffered yet another setback in their attempt to win back their freedom and claim more than 300 million shillings from the National Cereals and Produce Board, or NCPB. Three Court of Appeal judges have allowed the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to introduce new evidence obtained from a South African company that Waluke and Wakungu claimed they used to import 40,000 tons of maize 19 years ago and on whose basis they submitted an invoice for payment of 297 million shillings from NCPB. And as Francis Gashuri reports, it is a double fight for Waluke and Wahungu at the appellate court, Liberty and millions of shillings through Arid Supplies Limited. In June 2020, Chief Magistrate Elizabeth Juma slapped Sirisia MP John Waluke with a 67-year jail term and a 69-year jail term for his co-accused, Grace Wahungu, in a 297 million shillings maize importation scandal. In October this year, Waluke and Wahungu short-lived freedom on bail ended and they were hauled back to jail after High Court Judge Esther Minor appealed the magistrate's court verdict. And as they fight to regain their liberty at the Court of Appeal, a fresh challenge is facing them. Three Court of Appeal judges Hannah Okwengu, John Mativo and Weldon Korir allowed the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission ESCC to file new evidence obtained from a South African company, Chelsea Fright, through mutual legal assistance between Kenya and South Africa. The three judges ruling that an application filed by ESCC through its investigator Kipsang Sambai had met the criteria for admission of additional evidence by an appellate court. In the additional evidence, ESCC says documents used by Arad Supplies, whose directors are Waluke and Wahungu, to obtain a fast face payment of 297 million shillings from NCPB, were forgeries and did not emanate from Chelsea Fright, as argued by the two convicts. Arad Supplies had secured an award of payment through an arbitration process that was approved by the High Court but contested by INCPB in a case that has been pending at the Court of Appeal since 2012. Judges Okwengu, Mativo and Korir in their ruling yesterday said Arad Supplies would not be disadvantaged by introduction of evidence by ESCC since it would be accorded an opportunity to challenge it. The judges ordered the company to respond to ESCC's additional evidence evidence filed through an affidavit sworn by its investigator within 15 days. Waluke and Wahungu, who are each ordered to pay more than 1 billion shillings in fine or serve lengthy jail terms, have been claiming in excess of 300 million shillings from NCPB, insisting an arbitration order granted them 600 million shillings as payment for supply of 40,000 tons of maize 19 years ago. Chief Magistrate Elizabeth Juma, in her June 2020 judgment, ordered Waluke and Wahungu as directors of Arad Supplies to pay back the 297 million shillings they had received. NCPB in the pending appeal is seeking an order barring errored supplies from claiming the 300 million shillings and find that the documents used to secure the award were forgeries. Waluke and Wahungu have secured their freedom, albeit temporarily, after Court of Appeal judges Asike Makandia, Grace Ngenye and Sankale Ole Kantai granted them cash bills of 10 million shillings and 20 million shillings respectively, pending the hearing and determination of the appeals. If the additional evidence aids ESCC in farming up its case against errored supplies, then it will be a major loss for Waluke and Wahungu as they simultaneously fight to win back their liberty and save them from long periods in jail. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.